Hardware security sign-off eliminates security vulnerabilities. A famous example is the Intel Spectre leak. When the prefetch data for the path not taken was not cleared, it could still be accessed by malicious agents. Now, let's look at three general types of hardware security checks. First, data integrity. Designers can ensure that data transfers between secure domains occur without corruption. In the graphic shown, S1 and S2 are secure domains. Designers can test for the integrity of authorized transfers and for potential blocks to pass. Second, leakage prevention. Engineers can ensure that sensitive data cannot reach unsecured domains where it can be compromised. And third, interference safeguarding is necessary to stop unauthorized data from reaching and interfering with secure domains. To perform hardware sign-off, engineers must have the flexibility to add their own design-specific security rules in addition to utilizing more general rules. Let's compare hardware security sign-off approaches. Hardware security static sign-off and formal verification both do exhaustive verification. However, static sign-off can analyze millions of gates in minutes. This is orders of magnitude faster than formal and has a far greater capacity. A rigorous methodology for hardware security sign-off requires comprehensive analysis, including both user-defined and general rules, and it must be fast on very large designs. Thank you.